Hello friends, I am Bhavya Kothari and uh, my journey with Akash began two years back in 10th grade wherein I wrote the Anthe examination and secured an All India rank of 160 and a 100% scholarship. This really boosted my morale and confidence and inspired me to perform well in NEET. Aside from this, the uh, holdings in, the, in my neighborhood and also the consistent results of Akash Institute in the NEET UG examination made me take admission here. It all started in 6th grade when my grandmother was admitted in the hospital. During that time, our visits to the hospital had increased and I, I could observe the doctors closely. There, I saw the way the doctors interact with the patients, the, the smile that they get on their faces upon successfully discharging a patient. And that is when I decided that I want to join this noble profession. When I shared this news with my parents, they were really happy. In fact, my mother had always wanted me to pursue this since childhood. So in 10th grade, when I had, after 10th grade, when I had to make a choice, uh, I knew this dream had to be worked upon. And so I took the first step by joining uh, Akash Institute. Apart from this, tests also played a very crucial role in my preparation. I made it a point not to miss any test and these tests helped to give me a healthy competitive environment which made me want to study more. Uh, it was not just this, but the error analysis after the test was very crucial. Especially towards the last few days before NEET, I went through my error logs to ensure that I wouldn't repeat the same mistake in the NEET exam. In this journey, whenever I would come across any sort of doubts, I would approach my faculties and without hesitation, I would clear all my doubts. In the last month before NEET, I tried to revise the entire syllabus multiple times through the short notes and the error logs that I had prepared. Further, we had of the final test series, which comprised uh, a series of part syllabus tests as well as complete syllabus tests. This helped me to revise the entire syllab syllabus systematically. This test series helped us to get, the, get used to the ex exam experience and the pressure that we would face on the NEET day. In these examinations, we came across a lot of new types of conceptual questions which helped me to find out my weak areas and work on them. Furthermore, this year with the pattern changes, it enabled me to develop an exam strategy wherein I would start with biology and do it in 30 minutes, uh, another 40 minutes to chemistry and the rest of the time I would spend on physics. This test series really helped me to manage my time effectively and also to reduce the silly mistakes that I was making. My experience in Akash in these two years has been great. In, uh, back in class 10, I used to struggle to sit for long hours, but after joining Akash, it is, I, have, I see a great change in myself. We are taught things so conceptually that I actually feel like, learning, uh, feel like knowing more about something, especially the study packages which are designed so well, especially for biology, that they make me want to read more. The, our teachers were always available for the doubts and they always welcomed us. We were never told that our doubt is silly or anything as such, so it was always all welcoming. So, and whenever we did, um, and if, if, it, if at all we did not perform uh, well in a, in a test or made a lot of silly mistakes, then we would also have small punishments like exercises or something like that. Apart from this, we've had a, a lot of celebrations together with all my friends, with the faculties, a lot of birthday celebrations. So all these things have become great memories for me to cherish. I'd like to say that keep your concepts clear. Don't just by heart a formula or leave a concept ununderstood uh, in your classes. For this, I recommend that you do not try as much as possible not to miss any class or test for that matter because in the end, it would all pile up as backlog. Stick to a schedule. Try to decide whether you are a morning person or a night person or whatever works the best for you. Do sleep well in your, in the, uh, in your two years, come what may. At least give yourself six to seven hours in order to retain what you have studied. Further, don't overwork yourself. Don't strain yourself. Uh, do give yourself an hour of recreation, whether it be by playing a sport or by spending some time with your friends. But try to avoid screens or social media since you're already strained. Apart from this, just believe in yourself, give yourself self-talk and give yourself positive affirmations. All the best. Thank you.